I'm urging the police to please help us apprehend anybody who is using such a vehicle. As we already know, us as Patriotic Front, we respect the three wings of government, which is the judiciary, the legislature, and the executive. The legislature through parliament have already ruled on the floor of the house that using a vehicle with no number plates, you put a number plate like ECL, CK, HH, is not allowed by the law in Zambia. And why should people be always talking about the police? Honorable Stephen Kampion, who is a member of Central Committee and at the same time Minister of, law, of uh, Home Affairs, is not only Minister for the Police, is a Minister for Immigration, is a Minister for Prison Service, is a Minister in other departments. And because they are doing the right thing, they are not being talked about as much as Zambia Police. Honestly speaking, you, let, you know that even as a part, we have not allowed anybody to be using a number plate ECL. You let them pass through the roadblocks. We are putting us under unnecessary criticism from our citizens as if we allow illegalities. And to our members, whoever will try to come with a vehicle to the secretariat with a number plate ECL, it's us as the secretariat who are going to call the police to come and arrest you from our premises. Never should you try to come with the ECO number plate to our secretariat. If the police allow you, I don't know what law they are using, use them on the roads where the police have the jurisdiction to arrest you. Secondly, again on the police, you have seen today I'm receiving a very important person, our brother, who has defected from the UPND. I will not go into details. He will speak for himself the positions he has held in the UPND. And I can assure you, the UPND are shaken today to see this defection. Under normal circumstances, this person is not a small person in the UPND. We could have called even the province the district to come and receive him. But we, because we know we are living under very difficult circumstances, we are living under the health guidelines of COVID-19. As a responsible leader in the PF, I just had to call you as the media, because I know you are going to disseminate information across the country and people are going to know. I don't know why the police are letting people in COVID when we have health lines. If it's me who is holding a press briefing, I coach Tinta Mubechavan to at the secretariat. Come and arrest me if I've broken the law. We saw with dismay the crowds which our honorable member of parliament, who is a provincial minister in Lusaka, Boma and Lusambo, pulled on the copper belt. That's not under the new norm. You as police, what are you doing? Are you scared of arresting us as leaders? We saw the same with our minister of education. When we have a high number of people dying from COVID in Ufrila, you go and have such a crowd. Police, help Honorable Kampiongo and save his name. I'm sure he's not issuing you instructions not to arrest us leaders when we break the laws. Nobody is above the law. And I challenge you, if you see me as Deputy Secretary General, Mumbi Piri, breaking the law, come and arrest me. Next time, don't spare anyone. Be it Honorable Boman Musambo, be it whoever, be it Honorable Brian Mushimba, if he breaks the law, especially over COVID, arrest them so that you show us an example. And I'm sure this, the people of Zambia are going to have confidence in you. The president has talked over and over again. But police, as you did at the major street courts, where you beat our PF members for breaking the law, do the same to us leaders when we break the law.